Hi, my name is Shelby Havens and I'm the college recruiter for the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources here at Texas Tech. I'm excited to have the opportunity to tell you a little bit about our college today. To start, I want to introduce you into our college's acronym, better known as CASNR here on Texas Tech's campus because College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources is a very lengthy college title. So we're known as CASNR. We're home to about 2,100 undergraduate students. We're made up of six different academic departments and composed of 11 total undergraduate degree programs. That's what I kind of want to talk to you about today. So on this slide, you'll notice all six of our different departments, as well as 11 of our different undergraduate degree programs. I'm going to break down each department with each major to try to hone in on what you're specifically interested in. Our first department is the Department of Agriculture and Applied Economics. This department houses three of our majors, Ag and Applied Economics, Agribusiness, and we have a very unique dual degree opportunity for students who are interested in not only a full bachelor's in Ag and Applied Economics, but a full bachelor's degree in General Business Administration from our Rawls Business College on campus. So for students who are coming in with AP credit or a little bit of dual credit hours that puts them ahead of the game, this dual degree program allows students to receive two bachelor's degrees for only 24 more credit hours than a typical bachelor degree in our college. The Agriculture and Applied Economics degree, as well as the Ag Business degree, really focuses on different careers such as real estate, marketing, banking, students going in and working for insurance agencies. The biggest difference in those two degree programs is Agriculture and Applied Economics allows for a little bit more flexibility for students to choose their elective hours. So if you know you're interested in political science or English or animal science, Ag and Applied Economics is going to allow you the flexibility to receive those elective hours. Agribusiness is a little bit more set to the course, if you will. Our students in Ag Business spend majority of their time housed in the College of Ag Sciences and Natural Resources, but they do go spend a significant amount of their last two years over in the Rawls College of Business taking general business courses with the Rawls students. Our second department is the Department of Agriculture, Education, and Communications. We have two of our majors housed in this college, housed in this department. First, Agriculture Communications. Second is gonna be our Agriculture Education degree, better known the past couple of years as our Interdisciplinary Agriculture degree. We'll start with Ag Communications. Students within Ag Communications get to learn a variety of different communication skill sets. Not only do they take classes in videography and photography, but they also take extensive writing courses such as news writing, public relations, writing for websites, writing for magazines. They also take a, a handful of design courses. So they're experts in Photoshop, in design, Illustrator. What sets students in agriculture communications apart is not only are they part of the number one agcom program in the nation, but they also get to take to their employer one day a variety of different communication skills. The second degree program in this department is our agriculture education degree. We have two different options within this degree for students to specialize in. The first is they can choose to certify to teach high school agriculture. The second would be our leadership route. So for students who are interested in going back and teaching high school agriculture, they can choose the Ag Education Teacher Certification. This automatically makes them certified to teach high school agriculture. The second route with leadership is maybe for those students who don't necessarily ever want to go back and teach high school agriculture, but they want to have a very diverse agriculture degree program. These students take classes anywhere from plant and soil science to ag communications to natural resource management to animal science. So they're very well versed in all of our different degree programs here in the college. That sets them up for future careers such as working for the FFA organization or becoming a county for ex extension agent or anything working with people. So working HR for a company, anything that's building that, that personal relationship. Our third department in the college is our Department of Animal and Food Sciences. This is the biggest department in our college. It houses right at 850 of our students. We have two degree programs for students to choose from within this department. Animal science being one, food science being the second. I'll start with animal science. One of the reasons why this is such a big department for our college is because animal science allows students to specialize in several different areas within the degree itself. We have options in business, we have options in production, meat science, equine science, equine production, 
equine assisted therapy, and then we have two different concentration options for students who are wanting to either work with livestock animals or work with companion animals, as well as meet their prerequisites to then apply to vet school upon graduation. The first is gonna be our companion animal science pre-vet. This is focused on working with your small domestic animals. There is a route for students to either choose to get all the prerequisite courses within that concentration or to decide not to. The second that covers our pre-vet students would be our science option. This focuses on working with large livestock animals as well as meeting all those prerequisites needed for students to go on to vet school. Below our animal science tab, you'll see listed science. And in parentheses, you'll see pre-vet, pre-medicine, pre-dental, and pre-nursing. We give students the opportunity within our animal science degree to choose to meet all the prerequisites needed for any of those pre-professional programs I just mentioned. So if you're a student that's coming from a small town or wanting to take, take advantage of small class sizes or our scholarship opportunities, but still go on and work for a pre-professional health program, we can get you covered within our animal science science degree program. Last but not least is our food science degree within this department. Food science is for students who want to go out and be the next inventors of the next flavor of Doritos or the next sports drink. If you've ever eaten a Slim Jim, a McDonald's hamburger, or a Lunchable, then you've benefited from some of our alumni who have graduated from that food science degree program. So if you want to invent the next food product or implement safety procedures for huge food companies like US Foods or Cisco Foods, then we got that covered in our food science degree program. If you're following along with me, we're on our fourth department, the Department of Landscape Architecture. This is one of the smallest departments in our college. However, students studying within this department get to benefit from a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our graduate students as well as our faculty that make up this department. If you're researching different landscape architecture programs around the nation, the reason why you should come to Texas Tech to study landscape architecture is that we have a four-year fully accredited program where most degrees are gonna be that five-year accredited program. So studying landscape architecture here at Texas Tech, when our students graduate with that degree, they can sit for that licensing exam and start practicing as a licensed landscape architecture. One of the coolest things about landscape architecture that people may not be aware of is that licensed landscape architects can do anything that a civil engineer can do except build a bridge. So not only are you building the next playground at different schools, but you're working with new malls, new resorts, new high schools. Um, you're figuring out, figuring out ways to make Texas Tech's campus expand but keep our landscape architecture beautiful so that we can accompany the amount of students that we do on campus each and every year. This degree program is the perfect combination between science, design, and architecture. So it's for my students that aren't necessarily right-brained or left-brained, but have a little bit of creative ability as well as science about them. Our fifth department is our Department of Natural Resources Management. We've nicknamed this department our 60-40 department. Students that were majoring within this department spend about 60% of their time outside of a traditional classroom setting and only about 40% of their time in that traditional note-taking classroom. We have two degree programs that are housed in this department. First, our degree is in natural resources management. Similar to animal science, students can choose a specialization within that degree program. We have specializations anywhere from conservation science, wildlife biology, fisheries biology, ranch management, and range, con range conservation. So if you don't want to find yourself sitting behind a desk from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, then you may want to consider majoring in natural resources management. These students go out and work for Texas Parks and Wildlife, the Wildlife Association, and if not that, you may find yourself applying to the Texas Game Warden Academy. Our second degree program in this department is our conservation law enforcement degree. This is designed for students to go spend two years at a junior or community college getting their Associates of Arts or Science in Criminal Justice and then coming to Texas Tech, spending the last two years with us and graduating with their bachelor's in conservation law enforcement. Together, they feel like the first two years and the last two years give students a great skill set and a great background to be able to apply to the Texas Game Warden Academy. So the last two years coming to Texas Tech these students are actually taking courses that are taught by Texas game wardens in the area. Last but not least is our Department of Plant and Soil Sciences. 
We have one bachelor's degree in this department, plant and soil science, but just like the others, students choose a specialization option within the degree program itself. We have crop science, environmental water and soil sciences, horticulture and turf grass science, viticulture and enology, and local food and wine production. This gives students the opportunity to do everything from farm to table. Let me explain. Students who are specializing in our crop science area may find themselves working in a laboratory, working on inventing the next seed for our crops. How do we make our seeds grow bigger and better and stronger so that we can feed our population in 10 years? All the way to the environmental soil and water sciences and horticulture and turf grass sciences where students may find themselves actually participating in the production of our vegetables, of our fruits, of our cotton, of our wheat or our soybeans. All the way out to viticulture and and local food and wine production. So whether it's they're working with the fibers that are going into the clothes that you wear or working on selling the wine and the food that you eat and drink, these students learn everything from labs all the way to selling the product itself. Now I want to tell you guys what makes being a student in Kasner unique. First off, we have faculty advising. Here in Kasner, we have a 14 to 1 student faculty ratio. This gives students the opportunity to go and have a one-on-one -on -one appointment each and every semester with a faculty member within their area of study. They sit down and not only plan out their schedule for next semester and what classes they should and shouldn't enroll in, but after that point, it turns into a mentorship with this student and professor. So you have the opportunity to visit with somebody who's not only teaching your classes, but somebody who can plant different career ideas in your head, talk to you about different internship opportunities, scholarship opportunities, and so that's, that's the important thing about our students getting to take part in faculty advising. A lot of our degree programs here in Kasner require our students to have an internship before graduating. However, if they don't, your faculty advisor is going to highly encourage that you seek out one. I like to look at internships as test driving a car. You see what you like, maybe you find out what you don't like so much before you purchase it. Here's a few of internships that students in Kasner have taken part in. These internships can vary anywhere from two months at the State Fair of Texas, planning for the fair itself, all the way to a week working at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, or taking part in our Kasner Congressional Internship Program in Washington, D.C. each fall, spring, and summer. Yes, we do. We send students to Washington, D.C. every fall, spring, and summer to work in different congressional offices or for different committee offices on the Hill. Now I want to show you guys some of the study abroad opportunities that our students have participated in. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a picture of one of our students taking part in our study abroad at our Texas Tech University campus located in Seville, Spain. We have a lot of our agribusiness, ag eco courses that we offer over at our campus in Seville, Spain. The benefit of this is students get to live with host families and grasp the full cultural experience about being in Spain, but when they go to classes, they recognize their classmate and they also recognize their professor who is usually teaching classes here in Lubbock in the fall and the spring semesters. The other pictures that you'll see are different pictures from students participating in what we call our faculty-led study abroad trips. We do a lot of things like a family here in Kasner, and this is just an example of one of those things. Students go on much shorter term study abroad trips with about 30 other classmates and a couple of faculty members and they go to another country and spend about two or three weeks and then they come back to Texas. So these are just a few examples of where we've had study abroad trips go. For example, we had a group go to Australia and New Zealand for three weeks. We had a group go to Costa Rica. We've had groups go to Thailand and get to go to an elephant sanctuary. So there's lots of cool things that our students are doing abroad. Another benefit to being a CASR student is our scholarship opportunities. Last year alone, we awarded $2.6 million to just the students housed in our college. That's about one out of every three of our students in the college is on some sort of scholarship. We maintain one of the largest scholarship programs, not only in the state of Texas, but one of the largest ones here at Texas Tech as well. Students have the opportunity to reapply for scholarships each and every year. So when you apply to Texas Tech, be sure you fill out the financial aid and scholarship questions on the Apply Texas application. Then when it gets passed down to our college, we'll review it on not only a college level, but we then pass it down to the department and the department will review it on a department level as well. We have a variety of different clubs and organizations that our students can be a part of here in Kasner. 
This is just a few pictures of some of the different clubs and organizations. We have roughly 25 clubs and organizations and about 15 competitive teams in our college. This is going to show a picture of different clubs participating in one of our many traditions in Kasner called AgFest. This is held the first week of classes where we invite all of our clubs and orgs to come set up an information table for our new students on campus. This gives our new students on campus the opportunity to go around and talk to members of these clubs and organizations and they get to choose what they would like to be invited to take part in. Go to the first meeting, get all the free pizza, and then step back and pick your favorite two clubs and organizations. This shows some of our competitive teams in the college. We're home to the wool judging team, meat judging team, livestock judging team. If you read an article in Sports Illustrated about a year ago, you would have read that we are the Alabama football when it comes to meat judging here at Texas Tech. We also house our rodeo team, our equestrian team, our ranch horse team, soils judging team, and quiz bowl teams. So if you don't find your knack in intramurals here at Texas Tech and you have a competitive spirit about you, Students are more than welcome to try out to join some of our competitive teams in the college. Again, my name is Shelby Havens, and I'm the college recruiter for the College of Ag Sciences and Natural Resources here at Texas Tech University. I would love to visit with you more about any of the degree programs that I covered today. If you would like to schedule a phone call with me to find out more, or if I can answer any questions that you may have about CASNR, please feel free to email me. I look forward to hearing from you. Reckham.